All right. Now we get to go make some wood. pulled up here in Farmerville, Louisiana. It had a pretty bad tornado come through last week. Knocked down a lot of trees. I came and got this one out the way so just these people could get in. We didn't have time to film that one so you can see I've already taken the main trunk from this tree. We're coming in and getting two more that I wasn't able to get last time. Gonna have to do a little brush removal to be able to get the trailer in here but it's not gonna be a lot of work and try to get that trunk and that trunk loaded up and out of here. Shouldn't be too much work and get to it. I'll show you all the logs that I'm wanting to get. Like I said, I'd already broke this thing down. It was a 40 foot trunk from the root wad up to this crotch section. That's where they branched out and that was what you see here, what was connected. So I got a good crotch section here. It's gonna have a lot of pretty grain in here. Anything above that's not really utilized for very good lumber. So this is gonna be our stopping point for where you're gonna get good use of your lumber. Still plenty of heartwood in there. And this is a midsection log. This is about a 10 foot trunk. The other two were 10 foot. That one's pushing 10. This will be plenty big for bar tops, book match tables, stuff like that. It's nice, pretty white oak, so it's good stuff. That's what we wanted. That was squirrely. So how the trailer works is, there's no axles here. It's got hubs instead of axles. So it allows you to back directly over the log. I got these cross members here, they lock in, so I kind of got to use this crowbar to get them out. We want to get these lifted out before we back over the trailer. There's a persimmon in there. That's a good looking tree. Backed over the trailer, or backed over the log here. Step one, we gotta get a chain wrapped around this thing. Roll the winch over it, lift this end up and get our bunk under here, so. Hopefully I got enough slack here.
All right, got the chain under it, get her lifted. All right, so typically if we're just getting one log, you can lay the bunk down, set it down, we're done. Strap it down and we go off. But since we're getting two logs, I'm gonna leave this up and back over this second log and repeat the process. All right, I can at least get the front of that. Straighten it out. Ain't no way to twist it. Here's where having the winch on a trolley really comes in advantage. I don't have these pulled tight, so when I go to pick it up, I'm gonna get a lot of slack in the chain. And sometimes it doesn't, won't let me pick as high as I can because there's so much slack. But we'll see. A little jiggering. All right, this is the home stretch. Lower these down and strap it in. We're done. Two logs loaded. Depending on what kind of page we want this to be, I don't know how PG or whatever, but sitting right there with a beer would be hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't have done this work without a nice cold Miller Lite. 